Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Ecostructure Machine Expert HVAC. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video what we're going to see is an overview of the programming tab that we have in the software. So, let's go to the presentation. In the previous video we have seen the first uh, tab that we have on the software, which is the uh, configuration tab. Now we're going to focus on the programming. So, if we go to the next slide we can see that when we enter in the program, we, we may probably have all this information on the screen, okay? So we have the area for coding the programming, okay? To make the code of our program, depend on the language we have. We have the possibility to see the libraries, the properties of the elements selected, okay? We also have the possibility to, to use the watch and the oscilloscope that we have on the software. And in the top part, we have the programming toolbars. Then the same we have the output windows. Once we compile it, find some issue or something, we have it in there. And also we have this one, which is important, which is the operators and blocks that have all the essentials, functions, and system variables that we can use in the software. Uh, in case we are not able to see some of those elements in the software, what we need to do is to go to view select two windows and select what we want okay simple as that so let me just uh, show my screen software so we have seen the configuration the previous one now let's go to the programming so this is my view okay but you can change it as you wish in the top part when we have the toolbars we we have this possibility to arrange the elements as we want okay so you can play with it and in case you don't want to see some of these elements what you need to do is to go to view toolbars and then disable what what you don't want to see okay once we open one of the program okay we should be able to see the the code that you have uh we're going to see later but depend on the language selected okay we have different views of the elements that we have okay we have different elements okay this is just a function uh block diagram so you have the possibility to use the watch that basically you can drag and drop in here in the watch the variables that you want to monitor and also you can, depend on the variable selected, you can change the value. The important one is the operators and blocks because this one basically will help you to, to add in the code, drag and drop, the what you want to do. Okay, that's, that's quite nice. Or you can go to the top part and select one of these ones. Okay. And then here, you just uh, add the variable that you want to add the function or variable that you want to add so it's very simple and here we have different views so the standard view of this one is the is this the details but um, this one to give you the description of the elements that you want to use uh, if you don't want to use the description because sometimes the names is just enough you just select view list and you can have a reduced view of what you want but in case you want to organize this much better, you have the possibility to select view folder. So you have an easy way to identify what you want to do, what or which are the function block that you want to use in your code. For example, logic, you have the and, drag and drop it. Uh, if you want to use um, to, to, to do comparison, you have all of this one over here. So this help you to easily identify what you can use. Um, you also have target variables. Okay, here again I have the folder, but this one gives you information about the actual controller. And target blocks are uh, internal functions that you can use for the controller for the specific controller that you are working with. Okay. So this is just an overview. I'm going to focus later, depend on the situation, when to use each of them. Uh, ba -ba the other thing that I want to show you 
is the library okay as soon as you open the software okay there are some embedded libraries that you need to use in order to for the system to work and also you have these basic uh, libraries so um this depend on the application you have different kinds for example application air uh refrigeration you have different function blocks um uh, basic you have the timers counters conversion with tables you have all of these for further information some on how to use all of them okay you can drag uh for example right click uh no this one right click and you see object properties if you click the object properties you should be able to see this view that you have more information about the ios of the controller but in case this information is not enough or you're not able to see the property windows project uh, view to windows property windows but in case you want to see more information about this there is always the help index and here you just need to select the library hbac and then you should be able to find all the elements that you want okay depend on the application so this is how it should work um let's go back to the presentation just in case i don't forget about anything okay so we also have the output as we've seen before we have four different views of the output the bar resources okay this one finding project is good when we use the finding project if we go to this is going to be a long overview but here you have finding project so here you can select you can type the name of the variable that you want and then on the finding project you should be able to see that where it's located okay and let's go back then in the bottom basically in all of the um the different tabs we have this view i would like to cover this in more detail later but just quickly show you you have in the status bar at the bottom right part you have three main fields which is the mode then the comparison with the project on the piece on the plc and then the status of the connection okay you probably have these three views if it's connected good error probably something on the on the connection you have and not connected is as when you are uh making the program of the controller as you can see i'm not connected right now and i'm in edit mode so then you have the source uh, the source part that basically compare the program that you have on the laptop and the one that you have so it makes a quick comparison and see it if you need to download it again but this will be covered later and then the last one is to you have the possibility to um to see in the code okay uh, the actual values of the variables okay so if you go to the back on the program and select simulation mode or use this icon okay which is over here so you can connect to the target or simulate we are going to cover that later the simulation but you should be able to press this one which is live debug mode so you will change from it to debug mode and you should be able to see the values of the variables okay so that is what it means um i already covered this part how to see everything the libraries and here is further information about how to enable each part of the of the toolbar okay elements here for example finding project which is good uh this one will be to simulation this one to download only the part of the plc software compile okay uh, this one is for the debug mode change we're going to cover that later but here you should be able to see the different elements that we have in the software okay so this is just the overview for the programming top we're going to cover later in more details each part but i just want you to give you an overview of the configuration of the programming top that we have
So thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one. Thank you.